hyphens fast serve this is our k from 360 data it's time to learn how to transfer photos from iphone to mac without icloud if you are accustomed to using icloud to keep your photos synced between your iphone mac or even windows pc there is a good chance you might not be familiar with the process of transferring photos and videos from iphone to mac without icloud but don't worry as this is where i have a role to play that said, let's get started. First and foremost, connect your iPhone to the Mac using a USB cable. After that, select the Allow option when you are prompted to have access to the USB device. Then launch the Image Capture app on your Mac. To do so, head over to the Applications folder in Finder. Alternatively, press the command plus spacebar keyboard shortcut to access the Spotlight Search. Then type in image capture and select it from the regions. Next up, choose your iPhone that shows in the left side menu. It's worth pointing out that you can also optionally select a particular destination on the Mac. Just hit the import to drop down menu and then choose the desired location or select the pictures folder as the default option. If you wish to transfer all the photos from your iOS device to your Mac, click on the Download All button in the bottom right corner of the screen. If you want to copy select photos from your iPhone to your Mac, select each picture manually and choose Download in the bottom right corner of the screen. Then have some extra patience and allow the photo transfer to complete without any interference. You can find all of your transferred images in the destination folder on your Mac, and that's pretty much it. If you're wondering how long the entire photo transfer takes to complete, it depends on two important things such as the number of photos and the total file size. As someone who often relies on this method to move images from iPhone to the macOS device, I can say that it works like a child. Moreover, it is comparatively faster, so you can bank on it to let you migrate great photos to a safe location and also clear the precious stories on your iOS device and that's all there is to it. If you found this video helpful, do like and share it and I'll see you in the next video with more such handy tips and tricks. Till then, stay safe and have a great time. Bye-bye.